I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome back to The Writing on the Wall. This episode is the loss of civility. Let me define civility. It's politeness and kindness in behavior. I don't know if they teach that in school. Politeness and kindness in behavior. I find today I'm always Alan. I'm always Alan. It doesn't matter if you've just met me. It doesn't matter if you're trying to sell me something. It doesn't matter if you're making a cold call, if you're annoying me. I'm always Alan. So if a Mr. Weiss, if a Dr. Weiss, always Alan. Even if the other person has a string of 14 initials after their name or parentheses indicating what I may call them. I'm Alan. People who want a favor from me want me to use their automated schedulers. So they want me and my name and my brand on their podcast. And I've never heard of them, but I'm willing to do these things for people. But they don't call me personally. They have an assistant send me an email asking me to respond to their automated scheduler. I don't think so. After church, after church, after services, you get in the parking lot and people won't let you merge. They've, they're 60 seconds removed from praying to God and they won't let you merge your car to get out of the parking lot. Whoever came up with the phrase, have a nice day, remember? I mean, have a nice day. Everybody could have a nice day. What does that mean? You don't really care. Man, I'd pay money for that now. I'd rather have people tell me have a nice day than, oh, it's no problem. No worries, you didn't bother me. You know something? You're not being ghosted. Not one of you is being ghosted. You're being treated to rudeness. You're being treated to unprofessional behavior. I mean, unless you've made an obscene phone call to someone and want to call back, if you've called a prospect or a client whom you've met and they refuse to return your call, they're just rude. You don't want to work with them anyway. It's an hour late that's culturally acceptable in certain countries. In Mexico, Venezuela, most of Latin America, being late is, you know, that's what you do. That's just the culture. It's not the culture here in the U.S. So be on time. Don't tell me I'm sorry. I had things to do. Yeah? Organize your time better, because I'm out of here. Remember in college? I mean, when I went to college, yeah, you had to wait 15 minutes for an associate professor and 20 minutes for a full professor. I mean, they get this stuff. I went to the cigar store here where I spent a lot of money. You know, very good cigars. And it was five o'clock. And they closed at five on this particular day, but it was exactly five. And I wanted to get something out of my humidor. And I saw the guy, you know, closing the register and I knocked on the window and he went like that. He shrugged. That was it. Go on your way. Uber drivers, I find, are universally courteous. Now, I know you've probably had different experiences, but I find that they're very courteous. They have high ratings, the ones I, I see, you know, 4.5, 4 8.8 and 5. And because they're rated, I think they're courteous. Their tips aren't that high compared to other sources, other taxis and things like that. But Uber drivers are very courteous, and I think it's because they're rated. I think we should rate people's performance. Airlines, speaking of the loss of civility, have irate customers on board. They cause disturbances on the airline. They punch flight attendants. Part of this is this tremendous feeling of powerlessness. You know, they've gone through TSA, whereas I've noted in an earlier session, you're guilty to prove innocent. But still, who would have thought of getting up and hitting a flight attendant? That's how uncivil we've become. There's aggressiveness in amateur sports. Do you know that amateur sports, hockey, basketball, soccer, football, baseball, all of them, are having trouble getting officials. Fewer people want to volunteer because it's dangerous. Because the parents of these kids assault them. They get in their face, they hit them, they shove them. One uh, operation demanded that if anybody is stopped for harassing an umpire, before they're allowed back in to another game, they have to go to umpire school for two weeks and then umpire two or three games so they can feel what it's like. A couple of years ago, here in Massachusetts, 
at a kid's hockey game, two parents got into a fight and one father killed the other. And he's now in jail doing a life sentence. He was no less a great <laughs> philosopher than Rodney King, right? Rodney King, beaten by the police, an offender in many ways, a criminal. We, I think he died, he drowned in a pool of an overdose, I'm not sure. But never deserved to be beaten, never deserved to get the treatment he got. Rodney King says, why can't we just get along? You know, the Bible long ago said, do unto others. Why don't they teach that in the schools?